So really what we what we are focused on with WebOS, we built the operating system really to be web connected to a variety of devices when we came out with the original from pre two years ago now. So going through it, we focused on what we wanted to do with touchpad that made it different. So really you notice the card view and this is your workspace, you can see all your cards you have open on it. And they flip around. If I want to change the order of them, I just tap on it. I can move it over into the next plot, drop it. So I can move my workspace any way I really want to, really trying to customize your space. And I sort of liken it to having papers on a table. Some things are more important than others. I'll put them in my urgent pile. Other ones I can just sort of, I'll get back to them later. Um, I tend to use a lot with email so that I have drafts of email open. I get interrupted during it. I'll come back later in the day and finish my drafts. So it really lets you work at your own pace. So as you're going through it, I mean, some of the things we have, I mean, as you're going through the browser, I mean, the focus we have, um, one of the things we did with Touchpad is we actually used the graphics processor to accelerate the browser itself. Okay. So using, whether it's an HTML5, whether it's Flash, um, really doing the, having hardware acceleration. For Flash videos, all you do is you see something, you just tap on it, it'll start playing the video and, and place on the device. Right. Um, so anything you're seeing web content, you can just play it. What can you tell us about this screen? It almost looks like it's painted on. Like no, this, this is yeah, no, just yeah. like it's pretty fantastic. Thing. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, really, it was we were looking for a high quality screen when right. we were putting in place. Um, really can't get into the manufacturer of it, but right. but yeah, definitely wanted wanted a very very gorgeous display on the on the product. Just going back again, you've got your stack messages. But this is honestly the multitasking that we're doing it is key because as I'm doing messages. I tend to have ones that I'm not answering all the time or I get interrupted. Right. So I keep them on pile and come back to it later today to get everything done. Neat. And do those all get automatically stacked or, or can you put them so in what, stack? So yeah, they, you can actually you put them back in the section you want. You just hold it and you bring it back on top of it for the best that you want. You can stack it under or you can stack it over and okay. move it around. Got it. Um, but it's your control of how the workspace looks. Sure. So really looking as is how you're setting up and really from a productivity point of view, we really want it to be fun as well. So I mean, when we went through it, kill my Kindle up, there you go. Went through it, I added Kindle into it. So you can go through and have Kindle and have the 800,000 Amazon titles. We work with Barnes Noble for other applications. So we really want to open this up to anybody that has these type of products and hook into their system. Really the key in WebOS is as you're going through, you know what I'm saying, it'll stop everything in place. I can start it back up again, it'll keep going. But it's really, that's the key thing that I can, I don't have to stop something and go out of the game, pause it, come back into it. Everything's locked in place. I can go back over, I can go to a web browser, I can bring it back up again. Um, but really letting me move around my device however I want to do it. Cool. And again, as you're going through, if you want to throw something away, the, the easy way, you just find an application, and you just click it off the screen like that. Cool.